Hi, welcome to Reena's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about rational numbers. We know about simple equations and we have already seen in previous videos. Now we go through the some examples. See, first example, x plus 2 equal to 13. Here the value of x equal to 11. 11 is a natural number. See, another one example, x plus 5 equal to 5. Here the value of x equal to 0. We know 0 is a whole number. See the third equations x plus 18 equal to 5. Here x equal to minus 13. You know minus 13 is not a whole number. And that is minus 13 is an integer. Right. Now consider the another set of equations 2x equal to 3. Here the value of x equal to 3 by 2. 5x plus 7 equal to 0. Here the value of x equal to minus 7 by 5. Listen, these 3 by 2 and minus 7 by 5 are rational numbers. Now let's see the properties of rational numbers. First property is a closer property. Here in this closer property, value of the number a plus b gives the value of another number c. Now we will see about the closer property in whole numbers. For addition, the whole are closed under addition. For example, 4 plus 7 equal to 11. See, the numbers 4, 7, 11 are whole numbers. So for addition, whole numbers are closed under the addition. In next subtraction, see the whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. See for example, 5 minus 7, we get the answer minus 2. We know minus 2 is not a whole number, but minus 2 is an integer value. So whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. In multiplication, the whole numbers are closed under multiplication. For example, 3 into 7 equal to 21. Here the numbers 3, 7 and 21 are whole numbers. In division, whole numbers are not closed under division. For example, 5 divided by 8 equal to 5 divided by 8 which is not a whole number. Next, we see about the closer property for integers. In integer, for addition, integers are closed under addition. For example, minus 6 plus 5 equal to minus 1. Here the value of minus 1 is an integer. Minus 6 and 5 are also an integer. In subtraction, for example, 7 minus 5 equal to 2. So the integers are closed under subtraction. In multiplication also, integers are closed under multiplication. For example, 5 into 8 equal to 40. See, for the numbers 5, 8, 40, both three numbers are an integers. In division, integers are not closed under division. For example, 5 divided by 8 equal to not an integer value. We can discuss about rational numbers. In general form of rational numbers are P by Q. Here the value of P and Q are integers and q not equal to 0. See, minus 2 by 3 and 6 by 7 are some examples of rational numbers. Here for addition, the rational numbers are closed under addition. For example, 3 by 8 plus minus 5 by 7 which gives another one rational number minus 19 by 56. So, rational numbers are closed under addition. In the case subtraction, minus 5 by 7 minus 2 by 3 which gives another one rational number minus 29 divided by 21. So, rational numbers are closed under subtraction. In multiplication also, the numbers are closed under multiplication. Here minus 2 by 3 into 4 by 5 equal to 6 by 35 which gives another one rational number. In division, if we have the 0 in denominator, then the value is not defined. So, if we excluded the 0, then the collection of all the rational number is closed under the division. The next property we will discuss about commutativity property. 
commutativity means a plus b equal to b plus a. Now check this property with the whole numbers. In addition, addition is commutative. For example, 0 plus 7 equal to 7 and 7 plus 0 equal to 7. In subtraction is not commutative. For example, see 7 minus 5 equal to 2 but minus 5 minus 7 is not equal to 2. So, the subtraction is not commutative. Multiplication also having a commutative property. See the example 4 into 3 equal to 12 and 3 into 12 equal 3 into 4 equal to 12. See the division. Division is not a commutative property. Check with the examples. Next, we check with the integers. For integer addition, addition is commutative. For example, minus 4 plus minus 3 equal to minus 7 and minus 3 plus minus 4 equal to minus 7. Next, subtraction is not commutative. For example, we get 5 minus minus 3 equal to 8. But minus 3 minus 5 equal to minus 2. So, subtraction is not commutative. In multiplication, multiplication also commutative for integers. For example, 5 into minus 3 is equal to minus 15 and minus 3 into 5 equal to minus 15. In division also not commutative. Here, minus 100 divided by 25, we get minus 4. But 25 divided by minus 100 is equal to minus 1 by 4. So, division is not commutative. Now, consider the rational numbers. For rational number addition, addition is commutative for rational numbers. For example, take two rational numbers, minus 3 by 8 and 1 by 8. The addition of these two rational numbers, we got minus 2 by 8. Similarly, the addition of 1 by 8 plus minus 3 by 8 is equal to minus 2 by 8. Therefore, the addition is commutative for rational numbers. In case subtraction, subtraction is not commutative for rational numbers. Consider the example 2 by 4 minus 5 by 4, we got minus 3 by 4. Similarly, 5 by 4 minus 2 by 4, we got 3 by 4. First, we got the negative integer value. Then, second one, we got the positive integer value. So, subtraction is not commutative for rational numbers. Next, multiplication. Multiplication is commutative for rational numbers. See the example, minus 7 by 3 into 6 by 5 is equal to minus 42 divided by 15. Then again interchange C 6 by 5 into minus 7 by 3 is equal to minus 42 divided by 15. So multiplication is also commutative for rational numbers. Next division is not commutative. For example minus 24 divided by 100 divided by 4 divided by 2 is equal to minus 6 by 50. Then interchange the two terms. Then 4 by 2 divided by minus 24 divided by 100 is equal to minus 25 by 3. So, the division is not commutative for rational number. Next property is associative property. This associativity property A cross B into C is equal to A into B cross C. For whole numbers, addition is associative. So, we, you can check with the examples. Here addition and multiplication is associative but in subtraction and division are not associative. For integers, addition is associative but subtraction, multiplication, division is not associative. Please check with the examples for this property. Let's see the rational numbers. For addition is associative for rational numbers. But subtraction is not associative for rational numbers. Again, multiplication is associative for rational numbers. And division is not associative for rational numbers. Next, rule of 0. Consider the examples 2 plus 0 equal to 0 plus 2 which is equal to 2. And that is addition of 0 to a whole number. In the next example, minus 5 plus 0 equal to 0 plus minus 5 which is equal to minus 5. Here addition of 0 to an integer. 
minus 2 by 7 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus minus 2 by 7 is also minus 2 by 7. Here addition of 0 to a rational numbers. Here 0 is called the identity for the addition of rational numbers and it is the additive identity for integers and whole numbers. Next the rule of 1. See 5 into 1 equal to 1 into 5. This is multiplication of 1 with the whole numbers. Then another one example minus 2 divided by 7 into 1 equal to 1 into minus 2 by 7 which is equal to minus 2 by 7. Here multiplication of 1 with integers. 3 by 8 into 1 equal to 1 into 3 by 8 which is equal to 3 by 8. From these examples, 1 is the multiplicative identity for rational numbers. Negative numbers. The negative value of 1 is minus 1 and the negative value of 2 is minus 2. Here, 1 plus minus 1 is equal to 0. 2 plus minus 2 is equal to 0. See, 2 is the negative or additive inverse of minus 2 and 1 is the negative or additive inverse of minus 1. Reciprocal. Consider the rational number 8 by 21. The reciprocal of the 8 by 21 is 21 divided by 8. So, the product of the rational number and the reciprocal are 1. That is, 8 by 21 into 21 divided by 8 equal to 1. But in case of 0, the 0 has no reciprocals. See, the figure shows the representation of rational numbers on the number line. Here, in natural numbers, the line extends indefinitely only to the right side of 1. In whole numbers, the li line extends indefinitely to the right but from 0. For integers, the line extends indefinitely on both sides. For rational numbers, the line extends indefinitely on both sides but we can see numbers between minus 1 and 0, 0 and 1 etc.